My lovely Sagittarius, welcome to one of our special readings. As you know, the special readings are the one requested by you loves. And at the same time, they are timeless readings. Whatever you coming across or stumble to the video, that's the time you need to hear these messages. And we'll look into who or what will make a significant impact on your life in the, in the upcoming month. Who or what will make a significant impact on you, on your life in the coming month. Because speaking of who could be a person, could be a situation, could be an event, could be you know, a change, whatever that is. So let's say here, Sag, and also keep an open mind as every single reading posted on this channel, they are general readings. Today my resonate with you, tomorrow my not. And now that we are glad to hear your feedback at any time. Let's see loves, what do we have for you? This is a tarot and channeling messages for the Sag. Queen of Wands. I see calm. For some of you, if you felt agitated lately or felt all over the place or you felt like need more more peace in your life or need to be more organized definitely now you are probably on the road to that let's see ace of wands magician Wheel of Fortune, Moon, and Three of Cups. Who or what will make a significant on your life in the coming month? I feel here there is some kind of move you personally does that will quite impact your life to the best not otherwise i feel here something here speaks about i'm a little afraid to do it so or i'm afraid to pursue it but with the wheel of fortune spirit says you must do or you will feel the need or the drive to. I also see here some of you, I see Sages who either does a cleanse and an energetic cleanse. For others of you, you are working with someone to help you to achieve some kind of goal and I see here could take one week till you will see certain changes up to three months or within three months you see here Queen of Wands, Page of Wands and we have this Ace of Wands there's some kind of idea that you are working on and now finally or now starts to move forward. The moon and the magician, somebody here works with the energy of the moon. For others of you on the new moon or even the full moon you will do some kind of ritual or some kind of uh, manifestation 
especially the Sagittarius who do work with the law of attraction, here we are. But definitely here, whatever it's done, it's in the dark. I feel also, for some of you, you might have certain messages that will come through, through your dreams. So definitely here, pay attention to your dreams. Because your dreams definitely have a very strong energy and strong answers. So don't be afraid of your dreams. Don't be afraid of to manifesting, to manifest here. Because I definitely see you, whatever you do will bring you success. And for those of you who felt lately under the weather or you felt in the dark, I see the light. I see the worm. I see the, the energy of calm. And yes, I definitely see here for many, many of you who are watching this reading. If you are believing the energy work, you will learn more about it. And it seems here that you Whatever you do, it's working. There is science that are coming in for you and is telling you whatever you do will show up. Because look at here, this magician has this ball here and this wand here. And there's here, this wand and the, the ball. It's kind of like whatever here you put in there will show up to itself and what will surprise you is the energy you invest in something or the energy you put in there into the universe and also this magician here has the fish for some of you could be um, a work through in your finances because I definitely see here the finances improvement. But even though you work with the energy, it's not like the energy shows up for you with no, you know, effort. Because even though there is a work on one side, because the energetic side is here, but there is the physical side too, the 3D side too. And that's the 3D side here. Finally, something here is moving. As well, look at here, this ball here, it's on the queen of wands on the top. And here is this ball. I will clarify here this moon energy. And also in the moon, as I'm seeing here now, there is a little stream coming out from this lady's mouth. I hope we'll focus in so you'll see it. Look at this. So something here is like a whisper coming out. Moon, speak to me here, please. Nine of Swords. Definitely here the night time. Speaking of, don't worry. Don't be afraid. Because I feel here for some of you, you are could be thinking for it quite quite a while. Is this will work? Will this will show up? Will this manifest in the 3D? Two of Swords. For some of you, you could work on your heart chakra. For others of you, on your third eye chakra. Strength. But I feel here, it's kind of like allowing the flow, 
Don't overthink. Allow the universe to do it magic. Because, you know, strength is that energy of you got this. Move beyond the fears. Because you definitely got this. Look at this high priestess. You know it. Yeah, definitely here. This is a very magical energy here that surrounds you, Sag. And this is not for everyone to listen to this video. This is very specific. Have faith. Have faith that whatever here you are working on will show up. And it's kind of with this Ace of Wands I'm hearing now. It's like will show up much quicker, much faster, and much stronger than you think can be. I also see here a Sag who... It's kind of you are incognito. Nobody could see you. Now a lot of people will see you. Now a lot of people will recognize you. Now a lot of people will want to be around you. So whatever you do, loves, keep doing it. If you practice the mantras or you practice the law of attraction or if you are practice the the phrases i am enough i am good enough or i'm i'm great or everything comes for me easy keep doing these affirmations keep doing it because it seems here they are work and again Definitely here, someone does it in the night time. The Three of Cups speak to me here. The Three of Cups speak to me. Four of Swords. As I speak here in the beginning, if you've been agitated or you've been feeling like lately all over the place, Four of Swords is kind of like you, your calmness, your peace will come to you. Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's something here that will come quite quick, will come pretty fast. Ten of Wands. It's kind of like even though, even though a lot of things here will be quite quick, I see you pretty busy, very busy. Knight of Cups. And the last card here for Spirit, thank you, King of Swords. Underneath we have Two of Wands. Very, very important messages here. For some of you, whatever here will come to you, whoever will come around you, Be very much aware how you will act upon. Because there are certain things here you will need to choose to go with and other to let go. I have the Queen of Pentacles here. For some of you, there is a period in your life, in your work life, in your money life, that... It's kind of like they are so, you'll be so busy, but busy, productive busy. 
but I see you sharp. I see you quick. And definitely I see you that this is what I ask the universe to come and bring me. Because if I'm busy and productive, I'm not stressed out here like I used to. So definitely here what will surprise you tremendously are these busy times that you are manifest, busy, productive, money coming in, work comes in. Things that you you wanted, even though crazy busy times, but I feel you calm. I feel you more organized. It's like your schedule or you working on your planning will be crucial. Yeah, definitely certain decisions will be very strong impacting your future. What advice we have for the Sag here? especially for those of you who are connecting with these energies. Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. And the judgment and underneath here we do have the lovers it's kind of like a very slow time in your life is going away or something here that came in slow now will start to show up quickly quicker than you think but at the same time Whatever you do from now on, don't forget where you're coming from. Don't forget those times that you were there down. Ground yourself. Because judgment here really speaks of you know who you are. And don't make anything out there to change you in a wrong way. In a good way. It's great. But definitely here don't forget it's like whatever success comes to you don't forget of those who struggle don't forget of those who are feel like they're sinking but i definitely see here for some of you definitely a period in your life that felt very struggly or a period in your life that you you struggle or you felt very down felt in the dark it's done. It's at the end. And also, with the judgment here, don't forget about those people who helped you to be where you are today or to be where you want to be. Honor them. And again, your choices will be very important in the upcoming month who you choose to be around you, who you choose to be engaged with, who you choose to take with you, and who you don't. Whatever it's here also speaks of still in your consistent self, no matter what. All right, loves. So Sagittarius, this is what I got for you for this special reading. I hope this really speaks to you in a way or another. If it does, let us know. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Namaste.